The idea for the Prescribed Burn Association came out of just personal experience that I and other landowners had in the area. We were interested in fire and needed to help each other out. And as I started talking with more landowners, I realized they were doing this informally, but didn't have a real solid structure by which to uh, make this informal burn association happen. And that's where the PBA idea came from. There are a lot of landowners out there who are very interested in using fire as part of their management tool, but they just don't feel like, A, they have the experience, the training, the manpower, or the equipment to make those things happen. So that I started kind of taking notes on when I would talk with landowners, what are the barriers that keep you from using fire? Because a lot of folks have come out here and helped me burn or helped other people in the area burn, and I would just, you know, poll them informally and ask them, how, what would you need in order to get more fire in, as part of your management? And it was those lists that I heard from different landowners that we used to formulate uh, what the PBA could do for landowners. I think one of the goals that we hope to accomplish with the PBA is helping people reconnect with the landscape that we have here, the Sand Hills area landscape. A lot of agencies and a lot of folks in the science community have figured out how important the Sand Hills is from an ecological standpoint. And, but there's a little bit of a disconnect with the folks who own the landscape. We have to keep in mind that 60% of the potential acreage for restoring longleaf is privately held. And that is the untapped resource that we've got to find a way to get those folks engaged. So by, by having something like fire, which you can actively get in and manage and work with and bring your friends over to help you out, it serves a lot of purposes and fits in very well with Southern culture. We like to get together on the land and do things cooperatively. And using fire as part of that just fits in very well. It's like the old barn raising, where we come together and help each other to get a barn raised or to get a piece burned. It, people want to work together to accomplish goals, particularly here in the South. It's just part of our Southern heritage. And nothing uh, requires more uh, help than when it comes to using fire on the landscape. You need to have your neighbor to help you with that. Well, up until the last couple of years, I had absolutely no experience with fire. And it was a it was tobacco farm to begin with, and we had put out longleaf pines. And I love the fact that we've got it around us. Uh, it's, this is why I moved here. I would really love to see uh, fire used to control the understory, the the hardwoods. I have thoroughly enjoyed the wildlife that has been around and want to make sure that it stays that way. I went from putting out fires with the fire department to lighting fires through prescribed fire, mainly uh, for the ecosystem, uh, longleaf pine ecosystem. I got interested in that. So kind of the way I think about it, if you take fire, you know, from your natural ecosystem, you know, which is so important for this one. Uh, that's like taking a living, breathing thing out of that system and it kind of messes it up. I have a lot of respect for fire. I'd like to be able to do it and feel confident and know the right time to do it. So uh, on our property, it has not been burned in years. So my dad has about 600 acres that need to be managed and um, so we're getting our help through this and um, professionals have them come in. So. Historically, burning was a part of what people did with land management in the Sand Hills. And it was very easy. A hundred years ago, 150 years ago, you could go out and, and burn, it, whether it was for free range cattle or turpentine. It was very easy to go out because you didn't have that many neighbors. It was a lot more sparsely uh, inhabited. It didn't matter where your smoke went. Today it's gotten a little more complicated. So it's very hard for landowners sometimes to figure out all the different uh, boxes that need to be checked off before you feel like you're ready to burn. And it can be overwhelming to people because a lot of the folks who own land, they're not doing that full time. They have other jobs and just figuring out how to get through the different hurdles, over the different hurdles and get everything done. 
can be very overwhelming and sometimes when something is overwhelming to folks, it's just not gonna get done. So what we hope the PBA can be is just a resource, a container by which landowners can come into, get the training, get the equipment, uh, get the, the people that they need to get this done, and it can be done in a way that's very well organized so that you can just walk into as an interested landowner and come back out of with the, the process to make it happen.